Hi, Facebook. Okay, so I was like supposed to. Yeah, I'm in my pajamas. I'm like fucking really, really annoying, really sleepy. I was supposed to do this video like two days ago, but I tried to give the. Oh my god, I look horrible. The person the benefit of the fucking doubt. Because this is a person I really, really love. Like, I consider this person my best friend. And I don't really want to do this. But, you know, sometimes people have to get their asses beat to learn a lesson. And this is all going to be conditional. This person can stop this work whenever they decide they're going to do right by me. But until then, them, the family, everybody, everything they touch, it can all turn to shit. I don't really care. I don't give a fuck. So, this person, like, has every opportunity, had every opportunity to act right, be right, do right, and it's just like, it, it escapes them. And I don't know why, but I get so angry with this person that I start fucking vomiting blood when I fight with them. So, that's what I've been dealing with today. So, I have, like, my little jars. It's messy shit in here. I don't know if you can see, I have that one jar that looks like peppermint. Then I have that other jar. There's like motor oil and black shit in there. And there's some fucking bloody vomit in there too. Which you can't see thankfully. Yeah, I like put some fucking blood puke into the jar. This is how fucking mad I am. So in addition to that, this person fucking, uh, I guess I'm really pissed off with them because I'm on birth control. I don't have a thing. And like, I started having my cyst on my ovaries pop. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So I'm looking and I'm like, what is this? So yeah, I'm having a variance this pop. That's how fucking mad I am. So anyway, I am working with Father Lucifer for this spell. Well, it's not a spell, it's a work. It's, it's going to be permanent if they decide they're not going to make this shit up to me or do right with me or do whatever they need to do. It's going to follow them. And when they die, they're not going to leave Earth. They're going to be stuck here, like, as a fucking, uh, in Tranquil Spirit. And I'm going to just put them into a fucking jar, and they can just work for me. It's going to transfer onto their children as a generational curse. It's going to fuck everything they touch. They're not going to have no fucking money. Their business is going to fail. Their life is going to fail. But in all technicality, those things are already failing, and I might have had something to do with that, but you know. So everything they touch is going to turn to shit. I actually have some nice mealworms, some super worms for this. Um, Some cockroaches. And I have a fucking toad. And I kept warning them. I'm like, I'm going to go get a toad on you. I'm going to go get a toad. I'm going to get a toad. Like I said, this over and over and over. And they still didn't get it. So, like, I had to go get the fucking toad. And it's dead now. But anyway, like... Yeah, it's just, uh, I didn't want to do this. So what I can say is, um, yeah, it's my fucking funky bathroom. Let me put this down for a second because I actually need to, like, finish painting this picture because I'm about to hear some disgusting shit, too. Give me one second. Okay, I'm about to be back. Alright, I'm back. And if this person sees their family and their picture on here, uh, oh fuck it, well. I actually have a shit clock I'm about to wipe on some of these pictures. And I'm doing that right now. Because I got them all fucking painted. And when I say painted, I put red palm oil and now this shit is about to go into the fucking jar so now we have shit in a jar you motherfucker I mean this person wanted this they wanted all of this I warned them I'm gonna sprinkle these pictures some black arts oil and if y'all know these people go ahead and tell them what I did to them fuck them Hope they die in a fucking car accident. This is what happens when you fucking play games. And you know what? Like I said, it's conditional. 
he can take this off. He can do whatever he wants, but until you do the right thing by me, uh, you fucked. So that was some black arts fucking powder. I'm gonna put some red pepper flakes. And it's really adhering really, really, really nicely. So we have red pepper flakes. I don't know if y'all can see that. That black arts oil. I'm gonna put some sulfur. And I'm just going to touch all the shit with my hand because I don't really give a fuck right now. Like, these people can go die in a fire and wash my hands after. We have our sigils of Lucifer over here, too. Those are also going in this fuck jar. Oh, I'm just having fucking fun tonight. I get the sulfur out. And this is brimstone because I damn you. I damn every relationship you've ever had. I damn you if you try to get into another fucking relationship. I damn you if you try to fuck somebody. If you try to fuck somebody, you're probably just going to die. You know, it's just how my goon goon got it. So, yeah. So we sulfured. Gonna put some precipitado. Because we need this to hurry up and fucking work. I hope it works by Donald Trump inauguration day. You know, since y'all love Donald Trump so much, I hope it works by inauguration day. But if not, it's going to work anyway. It's going to knock you on your fucking ass and you're not going to be able to recover. It's not fun. Fuck you. So we have some pica pica. And if you don't speak Spanish, you don't know what the fuck pica pica is. And it's not for you, so don't worry about it. Me open this nasty fucking shit. This is yeah, all this shit is disgusting. I'm just, I'm not with it tonight. Pika pika. All fucking over all of their pictures. Now I already have Palo Bamba and Palo Diablo in these jars. These two. I already have these two. On these fucking jars, they're all powdered and shit, and they're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna stick some wormwood on there. Wormwood is an infernal herb. It attracts the dead and the demons and everything else and whatever else I might need to come get your ass. Like I said I'm working with Father Lucifer for this work, so they're fucked no matter what. <laughs> I have an oil I'm going to pour on here. I'm not going to tell you what this one is. Don't worry about that. Not your business. I'm just feeling some kind of fucking way tonight. And I already did my little sacrifice, so that that's all done. I have my little uh, dead chicken. It's done already. I'm going to use some black arts oil. I'm going to put that on there if it comes the fuck out today. Lucifer oil for Father Lucifer. I'm just so excited. I've been wanting to do this all day, but I've had everything else to do because this person has just been pissing me off. Like, they just been fucking playing with me for the last month, and it's like, are you serious? Like I said, I'm really not happy about doing this. This is why it's conditional. Because this is somebody I actually really fucking love. Like, I feel like your best friend, but, you know, you're not going to fuck me over. Oh, that stinks to high heaven. God, Jesus, I smell shit. So, <laughs> motherfucker. So, anyway. I'm gonna take my little nasty fucking black string over here. It is hard to do this video with a selfie stick. But you know, every time I do work, I verify I did the work. And you know, this person is all over my Facebook and my Twitter, driving past my fucking house, minding my business. So I figured I'd give them their own video. So I'm gonna put this shit down while I bind up these pictures together. 
to go in this nasty fucking jar of stinky shit. And I'm gonna try to like, okay, it's right there. Let me move those pictures over. I have this fucking really disgusting, stinky ass black candle over here too. Like, oh my God, it just is horrible. The smell in here. I don't know if it's the mealworms or if it's the dead fucking toad or if it's the roaches. I don't know which one it is, but it stinks to high heaven. So I'm gonna bind all these pictures up together because they're all gonna go in a jar of shit. And I invoke Father Lucifer and I ask him to help me. I don't know if you know this, but if you know my real name, my real name is a form of Lucifer. It's a form of light. Lucifer means light bearer. So I was kind of just born with that. So I have these all fucking bound up. And I invoke Father Lucifer to help me with this. You've been giving me signs and symbols and things saying that I should have done this much earlier. Because this person is very deserving. They need to get their ass whooped. They need to learn a lesson. And it's not like I have malicious intent for them. Because they ain't going to live much longer if they don't figure this out. If they don't do the right thing anyway. So that's already on them. But um, with this, I say to you, this will follow you. This will follow your family. This will follow your children. This will become a bloodline curse if you cannot get this right. So until you do right by me, your life, your finances, everything you have, everything you think you have, everything you touch is going to turn shit. That's it. Sorry, motherfucker. Sorry. So we're going to put this into the jar. Fold this nasty shit over. That's all prepared. I have my little other black candle going off over here, so I'm going to put some of that in there. And this has shit and motor oil and fucking blood vomit in it. And yeah, just all sorts of good stuff because I don't give a fuck today about this person. And we are going to take our little... I feel so bad because he was so cute. Toad! And this toad is actually a poisonous one, so... We're going to take him out, and we're going to tell him thank you for his service. We're going to put him in the fucking jar. I don't know if you know about toads, but when you do toads with brujaria, toads are just, oh, they're horrible. They are nasty. So we're going to do toads, and we're going to get out maybe one or two mealworms. These motherfuckers are disgusting. They have been, like, trying to crawl out of this jar. See? Look, oh, it's not nasty. We're going to put a few of them in there because we're going to save the other ones for the other jar. Oh, those are so nasty. They are just crawling the fuck out. Oh, ew, 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 ew. And all the roaches are going in the other jar, so it doesn't even really fucking matter. So we're going to seal this little jar. I need to put my sigil of Lucifer in. And I'm going to thank Father Lucifer again for this. I appreciate it. Thank you for your help. You guys are only seeing me put together the jars. You're not seeing the ritual. You're not seeing sacrifice. You're not seeing anything. So don't think this was the only part of anything I did. This is by far the nastiest video I have ever fucking done, and I am really that mad. And like I said, Boo Boo Kitty, this is all conditional. You can end this whenever you want. Whenever you decide you, you're going to be right, it all can stop. And so you do right by me, Boo Boo. Your life's going to fall to shit. So I'm going to take this. Oh my god, this is all stuck on all these fucking pictures. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to seal this motherfucker, never to be opened again. God, I feel so calm. I'm not even 
big angry anymore. I was really pissed earlier, but you know, I can just do it how to yell on people, so I'm over it. Like, they already have done a great job of fucking up their personal life, like their physical life, so I don't have to do anything else. Like their spiritual life. It's pretty fucked up too, but you know. I'm gonna seal this jar. I'm gonna keep sealing it. It's almost done. Oh, this is so fun. Oh god, these worms are disgusting. I can just see them. God, they're fucking moving. They're nasty. You see those? They're fucking moving. Oh my god, this is so disgusting. And there's like nasty shit falling out of this jar and candle wax and liquid and oh, that is so gross. Oh, witchcraft is nasty. I swear to god, it's fucking nasty. <laughs> I'm just sealing this nasty motherfucking jar all the way up. Uh, so it's all sealed and God, my fingers are all fucked up tonight. I'm gonna have fucking shit all over them. So There are your worms. There are your frogs. Let me get you closer. Oh, isn't that lovely? I feel like sending this to them in the mail, like after I finish working on it, and being like, this is for you. This is your present. You want it? So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take the red palm oil and dress these other fucked up pictures. It's the same pictures as before. I'm just going to make sure everything adheres. God, I'm like Martha Stewart over here. I'm crafting. Look at this. Stupid motherfuckers. And this is like a family full of racist people anyway. Well, I admit they're racist, but they're very racist and they're like trash anyway, so I don't feel too bad. They all deserve to die. You know how I feel about people and how I feel about racists and generations of racists and families of racists and people who just serve no purpose except trying to fuck over other people. And that's basically what this person did. But I gave them the benefit of the fucking doubt and they just kept showing me they were an ass even though it would get better then it would fucking get worse. And this is like what happens when I give somebody the benefit of the doubt and ask them for a simple fucking explanation and they just they hide from me. Or they pretend like nothing is wrong. A lot is wrong. It's really, really, really fucking wrong. And this is just how I am. I can love you to pieces. I would probably kill somebody for this person, but if you fuck me over, I'm gonna kill you. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, like I said, since we love Donald Trump in this circle so much, maybe this will all start happening by inauguration day maybe not it might not happen for two or three months you know might let shit get comfortable and then bam both of you fucking die in a car accident oh no don't fucking care this is the steps you go through so you don't have to fucking collect somebody's scalp because that was my next step i was just gonna scalp this motherfucker uh i don't even have to go through that I'm going to put wormwood all over these pictures. And again, we're going to invoke Father Lucifer. And I'm going to do more prayers when I get off of this shit. Because this is like half-assed. And I'm probably going to be working on this all night. And this wormwood is for my spirits and for the otherworldly spirits and Father Lucifer. Because wormwood is an infernal herb. Black arts powder. Make sure I get that all on there. Oh, 
Oh, you probably gonna watch this and be sad. I love you, boo. You still have the chance to do right, but I know you're probably not gonna do right. You're just gonna die first. But that's okay, because when you die, I'm gonna put your ass in a jar. Some precipitate hot out. Pika Pika again. God, I hope this person still doesn't believe in witchcraft. Because, you know, maybe if they don't believe in it, it won't affect them. I don't know. It's not how that works. If you don't believe in something, then it's not real until it comes slapping you in the face at 3 a.m. So I hope they still believe what I do isn't real. That's just fabulous. I love that. I love atheists. They're so fun to fuck with. We're going to put some sulfur. Some brimstone. Because I damn all of you. And some Del Retiro powder. The getaway. Because I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of all of you motherfuckers. Cause all y'all can go somewhere. You can all go to hell for all I care. You ever be so mad that you calm? That's really how I feel. Cause I was just gonna do some physical damage to this person. Like I said, I just I feel like I should be collecting their fucking scalp. But I don't even have to go through all. That. I'm a fucking witch. What the fuck do I look like fighting you? It might happen when I get back to Wisconsin, but you know, I probably won't have to do all that. So I'm gonna bind these nasty motherfuckers together again. The same fashion with this motherfucking black uh, thread. Actually, it's yarn, but you know, you get the fucking deal. I bind these motherfuckers together with this black yarn. And again, I damn all of you. And to this particular motherfucker, until you do right by me, everything you touch is going to turn to shit. Everything your children touch is going to turn to shit. And if you don't do right by me, when you pass on, you will never leave this earth. I will have you in a fucking jar doing work for me. And this becomes a bloodline curse. And your children, your children's children, your children's children's children, and so on and so forth until the end of time. May they all have this fucking curse. May their wombs fucking be barren. May your sons be bastards from bastards from bastards. May nothing fucking go right in their lives or your lives. And may all of you die a fucking horrible, nasty, goofy fucking premature death. <laughs> oh, I feel so good. And I feel like this one is not trying to fit, but I don't fucking care. It better fit, because I have roaches to go in this jar. Kuka achas. Oh, it's time for the roaches. Oh, they're disgusting. This is too much. Here y'all go. Look. Can you see them? I should have froze these motherfuckers, because now they're moving around. I hate fucking roaches. Oh, hell. They are really moving. <laughs> ah, this is so nasty. They're like not wanting to go in the jar. They're like, bitch, we don't want to die. Y'all don't have a choice. Y'all are feeder food anyway, motherfuckers. So, there are all the roaches going into the fucking jar. Oh, this is so nasty. Ah, this is gross. And some of them are falling out, so I'm going to have to put them the fuck back in this fucked up jar. Yeah, motherfucker, run into the jar. There we go. So all the roaches are in the jar. Okay, then we're going to put the super worms in the jar. 
And after the super worms, we're going to seal this jar with our sigil of Lucifer. I'm going to put this in right now. Then our little worms are going to go in. And again, thank you, Father Lucifer, for volunteering for this work. I appreciate you. Oh, this is so nasty. Time for the worms. Oh, look at all those disgusting fucking worms. Oh my god, they're all fucking moving. Oh, this is so nasty. And I can seal this jar at the top because it's a mason jar. Can you see them? Can you see all the worms moving? Okay. I am going to go now because I have some prayers I need to say over this stuff. Okay. Good night.